Welcome to St. Anne's. The Second Vatican Council calls the Eucharist the source and summit of our faith, but its repeatability can make it feel less special than some of the other sacraments. But Jesus reminds us of the reason for this frequency of reception. This sacrament is food, and like the food we eat to nourish our physical selves, this meal needs to be repeated for the spiritual health. Let us remember this as we celebrate the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ today. Our mass intention is Lawrence Corman. Our celebrant is Father Joe, assisted by Deacon Randy. At this time, kindly check that your cell phone is silenced. Please stand and greet those around you. And so we begin with the sign of our salvation in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Good evening. Amen. We welcome you as we gather as God's people this evening. In a special way, we want to welcome Tony and Betty as they celebrate their 50th wedding anniversary. Uh, that we were able to share God's blessings and love with them. And... So, my sisters and brothers, Christ is the living bread come down from heaven. The bread that is the flesh he gave for the life of the world. The bread that leads us all to eternal life. 
Let us give thanks to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit for the unique and priceless gift of the Eucharist to which we are invited every day. In today's first reading, Moses will remind the Israelites, do not forget the Lord your God. For the times we have neglected our relationship with God, let us ask for mercy and pardon. Us. You are the living bread that came down from heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you promise eternal life to all who partake in your body. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. O oh God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption. Who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Remember how, for forty years now, the Lord your God has directed all your journeying in the desert, so as to test you by affliction, and find out whether or not it was your intention to keep his commandments. He therefore let you be afflicted with hunger, and then fed you with manna, a food unknown to you and your fathers, in order to show you that not by bread alone does one live, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of the Lord. Do not forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, the place of slavery who guided you through the vast and terrible desert with its sorrow, self-serpents and scorpions, its parched and waterless ground. 
who brought forth water for you from the flinty rock and fed you in the desert with manna, a food unknown to your fathers. The word of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because the loaf of bread is one, we, though many, are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. The word of the Lord. Once again, like we did at Pentecost, we will sing the sequence before the gospel. And the Corpus Christi sequence tells of the institution of the Eucharist and clearly expresses the belief that the bread and wine truly become the body and blood of Christ. So after the sequence, I will invite you to stand. So please sing with us. Lo, the angel's food is given to the pilgrim who has striven. See the children's bread from heaven, which on dogs may not be spent. Truth the ancient types fulfilling, Isaac bound the victim willing, Paschal lamb its lifeblood spilling. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to the Jewish crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. Gospel of the Lord. Good afternoon. So good to have you. I asked Tony if that was his wedding tuxedo. You still look good. Still look good. Great, great. Uh, this past week, uh, as I uh, looked at the readings for this mass, what came to mind, and it has not left my head all week is the program Blue Bloods. You know what that is? Huh? Uh, it's, a, it's a family all involved uh, with law enforcement in one form or another, from the chief uh, to the detectives, to the lawyers, to the aspiring police officers, so on. So it's, it's a total program and in it, we see so much tension, don't we, from one side to another. Well, one of the most important parts of the program, I believe, is when they sit at table for supper. Because at the table, they are able to express what they're feeling, what's happening in their lives, the hurts, the assumptions, the presumptions, and also the forgiveness. It's kind of a fascinating reality that 
happens, you know, within the family. And uh, uh, the opportunity to be able to sit at table and to realize that this is where I can share myself. I really want to be honest, you know, and from mom and dad to the oldest siblings to the youngest. I, I always had the last word because I was the youngest, so it, it, it was you know, one of those things. What is so interesting because on, on this feast of the body and blood of Christ, it was in that moment where Jesus was at table with his disciples. And so much was going on at that time. The fact that there was all this tension about where, first we began even before they sat down, where, is it, where are we going to have it? Okay, and, and then they gather and then they're feeding and, and and Jesus says something, well, somebody's going to do something. And, and Peter says to John, because John was Jesus' favorite. Is that interesting, huh? That John was Jesus' favorite. He whispers to him, find out what he means. <laughs> That's what he said. And there's all that tension about putting their hands in the dish for the morsel of food. And it culminates, the moment culminates where Jesus is taking what we heard in the first reading this evening, where Moses had fed the people in the desert. He's doing the Seder meal commemoration every year and he takes that bread and he says take and eat this is my body and so with the cup take and drink this is my blood For us, my sisters and brothers, we were not there at that last supper, but we are here this today at the Lord's table. And it's still the reality of breaking the bread. And then I can say to you, take and eat. This is my body. And I can say to you, take and drink. This is my blood. That Jesus, because he has resurrected, surpasses, transpasses space and time. And he's going to be here in a few moments. And he's going to feed us in this place where you have brought yourselves with all your activities during the day, probably some of your anxieties, probably some of your hurts, probably some of trying to find out what decision you're going to make, but it's right here together all at one. We are going to be fed with the body and blood of Jesus. What an incredible gift is our faith. To know that he walks with us, he journeys with us, he helps us to understand the meaning of our lives, and he helps us not only individually, but collectively as family, because we are his body together. The body of Christ receives the body of Christ. And so today, so we can rejoice. We can actually be jubilant. We can 
really probably kick our heels to say that, wow, I am not alone. I have someone, not only who is at my side, my loved ones, but who is with me and feeds me and gives me strength to journey to the kingdom. And that kingdom is where I will find peace, truth, and love. God bless. I'm going to invite Tony and Betty to please come forward this time. Good and gracious God, in the beginning you made man and woman so that they might enter a communion of life and love. You likewise bless the union of Tony and Betty so that they might reflect the union of Christ with this church. Look with kindness on them today. And may the joys and struggles of their married life, you have preserved their union between them for 50 years. Renew their marriage covenant today. Increase your love in them and increase their love for each other so that just as they committed on the day of their marriage, they again take each other for better or worse, richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, until death. And we do ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kiss your bride. There's a throwback. So it's great. Please stand for our Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from life, true God from true God, begot not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son, who is adored and glorified, who has spoken for the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the Lord to come. Amen. When we receive the body and blood of Christ, he lives on in us and we in him. With such confidence, we turn to the Lord. Our response is, bread of life, hear our prayer. For the church, that we, though many, may truly be one body, as St. Paul envisioned, nourished by the body and blood of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Bread of life, hear our prayer. For elected leaders, that they may hunger for a just society, and that their hunger may inspire them to work for justice for the least of the women, men, and children they represent, we pray to the Lord. Bread of life, hear our prayer. That those nations who have abundance Share more generously with those who live with scarcity. We pray to the Lord. Bread of life, hear our prayer. For all Eucharistic ministers, 
particularly those who minister to the sick and homebound, that they may grow in faith through their service and be signs of God's love, healing, and presence to others. We pray to the Lord. Let our be our prayer. For all who are afflicted with illness and the challenges of living, may they find comfort, strength, and nourishment in the bread of life. And for those parishioners who have asked for our prayers, Nanette Azado, Nancy Badalini, Doug Burns, Rosalind Coffey, Elizabeth Coppage, Anna Doris, Elaine Johnson, Bill Johnson, Arlene Moore, Mary Morissette, Sheila Payne, Annie Doss Powell, Richie Scott, Noe Springer, Joan Tweet, Bruce Weber, Steve Yasko, Iris Zekin. We pray to the Lord. Amen. For those who have died, that they may, be, they may be received at the heavenly banquet of the Lord, especially for Debbie Feldon, sister-in-law of Jenny Estrell, aunt of Tiffany and Nick, Vernita Holdmeyer, mother of Kurt, grandmother of Nicholas and Alexa, June Pearsall, mother of Sarah, sister-in-law of Tom McDaniel, and for our mass intention, Lawrence Corman. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. As a La Salette parish, let us ask for the Blessed Virgin's intercession. Our Lady of La Salette, reconciler of sinners. Loving God, in the sacrament of the body and blood of your Son, we are nourished with the eternal life. Grant that we may always cherish this wonderful gift of divine grace and come one day to enjoy the eternal banquet of your kingdom with Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. There's no second collection today, but St. Saint, Saint Saint Vincent de Paul will be at the doors after Mass. The Lamb is overcome, and now He reigns. 
and pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, the praise and glory of the Church. Amen. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in mystery in the offerings we here present. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper with his apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as an unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery, you make them holy so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by the one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, in the highest, blessed is he. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Gregory John, our Archbishop, his auxiliaries, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Anne and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And so at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to lift our voices in prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. My sisters and brothers, may the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace.
My sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I know where we get you should enter my mind, but only say the word.
invite our ministers to the sick to please come forward for their blessing. My dear sisters in the Lord, we give you the body of our Savior and his life-giving word. Go to our sisters and brothers who are ill and infirm and give them Christ who will feed them with the finest wheat and with honey from the rock. Assure them that they are one with us in this joyful feast. Go in peace. And thanks be to God. As is our custom here, like we like to welcome anyone that's moved into our parish 
family, if we have any visitors this evening, if you want to stand, we'd like to welcome you. There you are. Great. Great, welcome. Nice to have all y'all. Great. Is anyone from Massachusetts? There we are, we have one over there. Okay. <laughs> Great. Please stand for our concluding rest. Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray that we may delight for all eternity in that share in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless us this day with this peace, love, and joy, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. time.